We ranked Cobra Kai. We ranked Miyagi Do. Now we gotta rank the smelly loser. Burt, without a doubt, is the weakest dude in the dojo. He's just automatic F tier. I mean, in my tier list, he's just the weakest character in the Cobra Kai verse itself. So it's quite unfortunate for him. He just literally does nothing good. At best, he just beats Mitch while he's off guarded. And plus, this was a spar, so it's not even reliable because Hawk also scraps with Mitch in a spar. Speaking of, next up is Mitch slash crippled Miguel in E tier. I mean, this man's best scaling is like fighting some people in the house fight and also should be above his previous versions after learning both styles like everybody else. But we really have nothing to go off for him. Bro didn't even have any noticeable matchups in the All Valley and he's just, what, below Chris? Because we already knew Chris was above Mitch beforehand and there's no proof showing that Mitch got any type of stronger to prove he's above Chris who lost to Kyler, mind you, and Crippled Miguel would be in this tier due to him beating up a Kyler post Cobra Kai training, while even before he joined, he dropped Mitch on his head. The fact that Mitch and Miguel, who can barely use his legs, are relative is kind of unfortunate, and I feel really bad for Mitch. Up next in D tier, we have Devin slash Hawk, and you guys might be wondering why Devin is even in the same tier as someone like Hawk, but the Hawk we see in Eagle Fang is basically Season 3 Hawk, which is basically a Hawk with no Miyagi-Do training or any of the access of the Season 4 scaling whatsoever. Devin is able to actually press Tori post learning both styles, and a case can be made for the ref actually playing in Tori's favor for that fight. And Season 4 Tori, in my opinion, should be well above Season 3 Hawk, since that version of Hawk lost to Sam, who has to rely on both styles to outclass Tori completely. However, there are things to consider, like it being a tourney fight and maybe Tori not trying as hard against Devin as she did against Sam, but those things we can't really quantify, and we also have to consider how much stronger the characters are with both styles and them getting stronger over the course of the season. So even saying that Tori is holding back against Devin, Devin should just outscale Hawk by a good bit in the end. And I already know people are going to be so mad at me for saying this. She's a little girl. How can she be Hawk? She only had a few weeks of training. Like, I can't win, bro. The show literally tells you this. In the next tier, we have Sam slash Miguel, and the reason they are even relative is, I mean, Sam early on was a good bit stronger than most of the cast outright. Plus, in Season 4, despite being injured against Tori, she still proved to actually be stronger than her, and the ref had to cop out the win for Tori. Sam should be in Robbie's tier due to the prom fight, plus we see how easily Robbie dismantles Eli when he's only using Miyagi-Do, who scales to a nerfed Miguel. Which is why Season 4 Miguel at his best hypothetically would be a good bit above Sam since he was relative to Eli while mentally nerfed, plus he pulled his muscle, showing he's not at full recovery just yet. And y'all already know this is Miguel the GOAT, him taking the number 2 spot in Eagle Fang shouldn't really be a surprise. And in a tier of his own, or A tier, we have Johnny Lawrence who stalemated with Daniel LaRusso in season 4. And that's basically where we are going to be wrapping up this tier list for now. Maybe I can rank the Cobra Kai villains from weakest to strongest. Let me know down below. I think that would be pretty cool. And take care, everybody. Subscribe. You guys already know. Follow me on Twitter. Nobody ever does that. Hit the bell icon. Share it with your friend. Share it with your grandma. And peace out.